Okay, so on this boomer tip, I want to show you how to create continuity with color. Like, when you're working on your model railroad, you're going to ballast an area, and then you're going to go do something else, and then a month later, two weeks later, three days, whatever, you're going to come back, you're going to have different material, you're going to have different colors. Now, varied colors are okay, but how do we make them all work together? And I want to tell you right now that this color here by Tamiya, XF57 Buff, is an excellent color for pacifying a lot of these harsh kind of contrasts of color here to blend them all together to give them continuity of color okay but what you need to do is though is you need to thin this down three or four times so buy one bottle of buff and make four bottles of it i pour it into another jar and and mix 50 50 isopropyl alcohol that might even be too thick like, I've been using this buff, like, probably since the whole project. Like, little touch-ups on, because uh, I made four bottles of it. Way back, okay? So it's not expensive if you thin it down. And, of course, you need an airbrush. Just a cheap airbrush. This is a dual action. This is my favorite I've had for over 20 years. It never seems to wear out. Because that's all I do is shoot to me an isopropyl alcohol. So I don't have to worry about the seals getting eaten away and isopropyl cleans as it also thins and atomizes the paint so watch what happens when I just lay some thin overspray over these areas that seem to have this kind of unbalanced contrast okay Okay, so as you can see, it's already toned down some of those harsh contrasts to make everything work together as a whole in this particular area. And if you want, you can uh, do the same with Flat Earth XF52. Okay, same thing. Thin it, thin it, thin it. You probably, even if you thin it down four times, it's probably going to be too thick. It's probably, the pig is going to be too heavy for you. So... Even I thin more, 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 more. Like, that's the key, right? Never shoot this paint straight from the bottle. You know, you're just wasting money. You're wasting paint. You're, and then you're always going to get this opaque contrast that, that does not blend well, okay? You can also thin this down and use a traditional paintbrush as well and just pour it on or put washes on. Very thin again. If you think you're thin enough, go one more step thinner. But remember, these two colors here, Buff XF57, Flat Earth XF52, are your best paints, in my opinion and experience, for getting the look that I get, for tying everything in together to make it look like it's all harmonious and natural looking, right? Okay, you can play around with these too. You can come back later and then uh, if you think it's too light, you can put a, another wash of Flat Earth over top. Or maybe you might want to darken it more with uh, raw umber. Right? They take a dark raw umber rail brown, put some washes around, and then come back again with buff. But I would say that if I only had three colors, like that's it, for all my scenery, okay, apart from green foliage, would be buff, earth, and just a combination of black and brown to make you know, your own personal raw umber colors okay but these two right here this is what these colors are for and they work really good too if you want to carry up some of this onto the, your your trucks and your wheels and the bottom of your rolling stock and locomotives etc it'll tie the whole scene together and make your models look like they're part of the environment okay